Tony Dye, UCLA junior safety with us today. Gotta, gotta start with the hair. <laughs> Whose idea? Whose idea? Uh, it was kind of a joint thing between myself and Glenn Love. It was just, it, to be honest with you, it was kind of a random thing. It's like, you know, he was, we were talking about the gold helmets, you know, how we don't have our stickers on yet. And, and he somehow it ended up being like, hey, we should bleach our hair. Always wear our gold helmets. And, and that's, for some reason, we went through with it. And then a couple other guys picked it up. So it's a nice little trend right now. Yeah. Tony, things like this seem to be very important in, in, in college sports. The idea of the, you know, rally caps, team unity, all that kind of stuff. Um, does it say something to you that other guys on the team kind of wanted to buy into? You know, are you, are you waiting for even more to go Golden Dome? Oh, we're expecting a, a huge increase by this weekend. You know, to, maybe to, to the, the unpopular <laughs> outside crowd that, you know, they might not like it, but, you know, it, it really is like a team unity thing. And, and it was really nice to see that once Glenn and I did, a couple other guys picked up right away on board. It wasn't just like, you know, yeah. everybody shunned us and was like, oh, we're not doing all that. We're not going to sacrifice our hair, but, you know, people, you know, it's about the team right now. Yeah. We just went through a hectic camp together. You know, we're going to go through a beast schedule this year, so it's real important that we got that chemistry, and this is just kind of like a symbolism of that. Who's going to be the hardest person to convince? <sighs> Probably Raheem. Really? He's convinced his hair is going to fall out, so, <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him, but if it does fall out, it's part of the team, right? Yeah, I mean, we'll all go bald then. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, um, obviously, there's a lot of depth returning at safety. There's a lot of depth returning at cornerback. Uh, there's not as much depth on the defensive line and all that kind of stuff. How do you kind of take on additional roles in that team leadership, or how do you take on additional roles, maybe even with responsibility, out on the field? I think uh, where it's going to hit most for myself and, and Raheem as well is uh, s s lining people up, just scheme-wise, because, you know, people like Reggie Carr, they were real good at that. Even just turn around and tell me and Raheem where to go when we were young guys. So I think because we're so savvy with the defense now, it's real important for us to point and tell people where to go, even, to, you know, down to the D-line, yeah. keep people lining, because we definitely have the talent. The young kids are great. Cash is great. You know, I mean, David Carter stepped up in an amazing way. And this is his first real year of actually playing. You know, so it's, it's all a matter of us putting them in the right place and, you know, showing, you know, keeping the confidence up on the field. You just be, just be leaders, basically. You know, Tony, you, you look at the guys that you lost and you look like the guys that you still have, and it seems like everyone kind of always forgets that, you know, while a guy might not have played in a couple of years, he has that talent. Mm -hmm. Who are you seeing that has opened your eyes maybe and said, wow, he really, he really is a beast. He is a guy who... I probably shouldn't have forgotten about as being a real contributor. I would have to say it's probably a tie between, like I said, David Carter and uh, Damian Holmes. Those two have both really come out of their shell. Damian, more recently, these past couple of days, been making a lot of plays, a lot of plays I didn't expect. I mean, the kid's got a motor. Yeah. And then, you know, David Carter's strength is just ridiculous right now. So, you know, those are people that, you know, we had BP and the, the Bosworths here and everything, so you kind of forgot about those guys. They're just, they're just kind of, you know, depth. But you know, now that it's their turn, they're really stepping up to the plate. I'm loving it. You know, that, that whole idea of it's my turn, uh, is that something that maybe a fan or, or even the media can really comprehend, the whole idea of what of the ownership that, that maybe a David Carter feels now that he knows it's on him? How important, I guess, the question is how important is that responsibility, that self-responsibility, knowing that it's going to be your role and you have to do it? It's it's huge. I mean, especially with the, the amount of pride that comes with it because, you know, we're talking about people like everybody comes to school to play football. You know, we all want to start. We all want to be the winner. We all want to be on the championship team and be a part of it. So, you know, the guys that, you know, sit behind, you know, possibly more skilled players like David, you know, who's behind DP, I mean, he's ready. I mean, he's primed up and ready to go, and he realizes, you know, it's kind of on me now to take him to, to fill in that slot. And, you know, I think the pride along with, you know, realizing that what, what a huge responsibility it is is going to carry him a long way. Good stuff. Tony Dye, UCLA Safety. Great stuff, man. Thanks. Sir.